Hey guys, happy nice here. Welcome back to my channel, the best place for all small businesses tips, entrepreneurship in general, as well as Shopify tutorial. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to create collections on your Shopify store. So basically, collection is a way of grouping all your products into different groups. So let's say if you are running um, a retail business that you're selling clothing, you can group your products into different groups so let's say if you're selling dresses you're selling tops you're selling jeans you can group them into different groups so you can group them into uh, so all the tops will go into tops collections and all the dresses will go into dresses collection it doesn't matter what kind of business you're doing all this process that i'm going to show you you can use those process or you can use those steps into that kind of business you are doing so i am going to show you how to create your collection through two different ways one is automated way and another one is a manual way so with automated way if you are selling or if you have like more than like a hundred product in your store or let's like even like 50 products in your store an automated way will be a great way for you to use because it's gonna help you to save so much time by using different condition on adding your product so every time when you add your product and put uh, there will be a section on your Shopify store that is going to tell you to add this on a certain um, collection by using different condition and your product will go autom automatically on that collection but if you're using a manual way every time when you're adding your new products on your store you are gonna have to go on your collection section and add that product again manually like one by one on that collection so I am going to show you these two different ways of creating your collection on your Shopify store and you can make your own decision if you're going to use an automated way or a manual way but in my opinion I'm gonna recommend you to use a manual way if you're selling more than uh, maybe more than 50 products or more than 100 products so it can save you more time but if you have like less products in your store you can use a manual way because you won't waste so much time because you have less product so let me stop talking a lot let's jump into this video but before we do that please don't forget to give me a big big thumbs up subscribe on my channel for more video like this and leave me a comment down below and let me know which method do you think is better do you think um, using an automated way is better or using a manual way is better so let's jump into this tutorial so now we are inside the Shopify store and these are our products that are available so far. I have another video that I showed you guys how to create your product and how to add everything that is supposed to be on your product page. So if you want to know how to create this product, I will leave the video linked up on the description as well as I will link the video on this video as well. So go and check it out if you want to know how to create your products. So to access your collection page, go here. So let's say if you were on your home page and you want to access your collection section click here on the products and then jump right over here on the collection this is where we are going to start and um, create our collections so collection is basically a group of related products that helps make um, the browsing process a lot easier for your customer um, so let's click here on the collection and so we can start adding our uh, first collection But the first thing you want to do is just to make sure that you know which product you want to go and um, Group together into a collection and once you have done that then come over here um, On the collection section and start creating your collection. So once you get here, you will see a homepage collection So this is here just um, as a default in Shopify so let's click create collection and start creating our collection so this is how the collection page looks like so far so I am going um, to start creating my first collection and my title will be um, coffee mugs coffee mugs so the title so the title is very very important and on the description here the description is actual 
optional um, if you want to put the description for your collection you can do that but it's actual optional because your customer really won't see this description and here on the collection image um, you can put a collection image here as well so if you have an image let's say you're trying to make a page for that collection alone you can just go and add an image from your computer but it is really really, really not must to do that but I'm just going to show you um, that you how you can do that so I'm just gonna click add image and I'm gonna put a collection for my um, coffee mugs so I'm just gonna add this image as my coffee mugs collections and then let's jump here on the collection tab so there are two different ways to add your collection in your store there is a manual way where you're gonna have to add your product on this collection one by one every time when you create a product uh, and every time when you want to create a collection you're gonna have to add this product one by one and the automated way this one is very easy and it saves so much time especially if you have so many uh, products in your store like maybe like hundreds if your store is that big um, an automated way to add your collection will be really really easy it's gonna save your time just by using different conditions so i am going to show you how you can um how you can add your product in automated way and also in a manual way okay so with automated way we are gonna have to add this product in terms of conditions and these are the conditions um, you can use the first condition as a product type, product title, uh, product vendor, price, compare at price, weight, inventory stock, variance title. You can add your product that way. And you, a uh, product has to meet all these conditions in order for them to be linked on this um, collection. So let's say I'm gonna use product tag. I'm gonna select product tag. The first tag I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use um, mugs. Okay. I'm gonna use a different one and the first one I'm gonna use coffee mugs and I'm gonna add another condition uh, so these are some of the tags that I have available in my store already so if you have your if so if you don't have the tags available you can just um, type them here so let me type um, coffee cup and then um, you can add as many tags as you want but these tags has to be relevant so I'm just gonna put like a cup so you can pick either you want this um, this product to meet all of this condition so it can be available on your collection or any of this condition I'm gonna pick any of this condition so if my product has um, any of this condition then it's gonna be available on my collection so if you want to know how to add this tags when you are creating your product make sure to watch that video on how to create a product on your shopify store because i show you there every detail on what to add on your product page so you can know how to add these tags and after that um this is gonna be ready to go but on the collection availability this is showing that this uh, collection will be available only on one sales channel because we only have one sales channel so far and if you have like different sales channel they'll be available here so let's say if you have like Pinterest Facebook TikTok um, WhatsApp all your sales channel will be available if you have those different types of channel but so far we only have one sales channel and after that this should be good to go we can click save to save our collection so it's gonna save and here shopify is telling us we have successfully created our first coffee mugs collection and if we go back we can see our first collection is right over here so we have created our first collection using um, an automated way so now um, this is how you can create different collection in your store using an automated way now let me go and show you how to create your collection using the manual way so i'm going to create a different um a different collection i'm going to put the title here i'm going to put um coffee coffee holders okay and then again the description is just 
um, optional if you want to add it or not adding it it's totally okay and it's optional to you now let's add our collection image and a collection image also is very optional you can add your image or don't add it so i'm just gonna add it okay and my image is loading so this is my collection image for coffee holders and now we are going to in, on the collection type we are going to pick the manual way so and after after clicking the manual way click save and our coffee holder collection with the manual way has been created but we are not done yet so now we are going to add products so you can either type the name of your product here like you can type maybe like a coffee mug and you can i mean a coffee um a coffee holder you can do that and click add so your first product um of the coffee holder will be added here or you can click browse here and you can browse all your products and i'm going to click here the mug tree um coffee mug and i'm going to add that so this is how you can add your collection products through the manual way and as i told you before this is a very time consuming if you have like so many products in your store because every time when you uh create a new product you're gonna have to come back on your collection and start um typing the product or browsing your product and add your collection there but if you um if you have like less products um, just like cup of products then this will be perfect for you but if you have tons of product i will recommend you to use a manual way so it can save you time by using different conditions so and this is how you can create your collection with the manual way now let's go back okay and you can see here we have two different types of collection one collection this is the one we created with a manual way and we don't have any conditions here and this one we created through um uh automated way and we have um product condition right over here yeah guys this is how you can add your product collection on your shopify store and um let's say if you want to view how your collection is looking like you can click here view and this is going to take you on your collection uh, so this is our coffee mug collection here it's available in our store and let's say if we want to view our coffee holder we can click view here as well and these are our coffee holder product they are all live in our store so yeah guys this is how you can add your collection in two different ways in a manual way and in automated way i hope you liked today's video if you do please give me a big thumbs up subscribe on my channel for more video like this and leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think about today's video and i'll see you guys on the next video.